So we've all been there. You see a girl, you're interested in her. Maybe she's got that outfit you like on. Maybe she's got that type of body that you like. She's got that face that you like. Or just something about her that you got to get over there and meet her. And so your body's calling. And it's like, we got to go talk to this girl. Let's go see what's going on. So you're starting to chase this girl down. You know, you're battling through all your stories as you get closer and closer to her, why, as well as to why you shouldn't approach her. And as you get closer to her, you're getting ready to stop her. Boom. And what happens? He hangs a quick right to a h and a Zara, Starbucks, coffee bean. And you're standing there like, damn, I should have stopped it just a little bit earlier. <laughs> what do you do in those situations, right? How do you get yourself out of that? How do you get yourself in the store? And that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Not only how to get yourself in a store, but how to really take advantage and get the best results in the store. Now, we'll get to that in a bit, but as men, we all know the level of tension that is to go into a store boldly and go get the girl that you want. It can be very nerve wracking having strangers look at you, having people who are working there see you in the store in your primal form, which is I'm going to hunt down this girl. I came to talk to this girl and it can be very nerve wracking. It can be very embarrassing. And we had all kinds of stories around it that make it a lot more difficult. And this part is very important than it actually is. Now, I remember when I first started doing this work, going into stores terrified me because you're moving from an open space that's really wide and open to a more confined space where your voice carries and people can hear what you're saying. So what does that do? That puts you at a risk of being judged even more because people can hear you, people can see you. If you make a mistake or if you say something stupid or if you get rejected, it's gonna feel like it's amplified times 10. Now, the beauty in that is, yes, it is amplified times 10. And yes, you're gonna to have to surmount your story about people hearing you and seeing you go for what you want. If you're a nice guy, that's another part of the nice guy. Nice guy is very scared to let people know that he has wants, needs, desires, and he wants to have them met. And sometimes so much so that the nice guy doesn't even admit to himself that he has these wants, needs, and desires. So when you're in these stores and people are seeing you go for your wants, needs, and desires, in your head, you're probably thinking, damn, they're judging me, they're laughing at me behind my back, et cetera, et cetera, worst case scenario. But the truth is, it's actually not happening. So we're gonna jump into that once we jump into our uh, talk on that. But before we move forward, I want you guys to hit the like and subscribe button so that I can continue to give you these videos because I'm starting to really dig <laughs> into my approaching methods and I really wanna give you guys every single thing that I know so that you guys can excel as fast as humanly possible. Hit the like and subscribe button so you can get these Friday videos. You can get Brian's Tuesday live calls, his Monday videos as well, Sunday videos as well. But more importantly, so that you stay up to date on the little tips and tactics and techniques that I use to get the girl that I want. Now, anyways, moving along, let's talk about how to navigate that. What do you do in these situations? What do you do in these environments? How do you get the best results and how do you calm yourself and ground yourself so that you can actually be a functioning human being in the presence of that much tension? So what I would do in the situation is I would go into the store. I would be very polite. So it'd be more like, hey, excuse me, I'm sorry. I was trying to, I saw you down there. I was chasing you down. Like I wanted to, I wanted to know your name. I thought you were super gorgeous. I'm Anthony, sorry, I hope I didn't scare you. Or I hope I wasn't off-putting in doing that, right? Because you gotta remember that you're approaching a girl and maybe in a place that's more close quarters. So she might possibly feel defensive or might get a little closed off. So for you, the masculine, the male, what you need to do is you need to relax your energy, open your energy, be okay with the potential of rejection because that's what's going to relax you ultimately in your head or in your your physical experience you are like okay i might get rejected but that's okay if you can actually own that potentiality if she does get defensive you'll let go and relax a lot faster you won't press her and in that she can relax and feel that you're not uh being predatorial right you're not going to put her in a weird position, you're not gonna be creepy. So when I walk up, I'm like, okay, cool. Hey, sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to say, I thought you were super gorgeous. There's so much truth in it. And so when I do that, girls tend to surrender, right? There's a surrender and there's a relaxation in their body. They, at first it might be like, huh? And then they surrender and then they can actually receive what I'm saying. Because when they're in that fight or flight state, they can't really receive what you're saying. They will close off on you and just turn away. Remember, open yourself up, open your heart up, open your energy, be wider. If you're closed off and you're tense and you're nervous, try not to let it get the best of you because that can sometimes ruin your interactions. Now, I've probably heard us say in previous videos that it's okay to be nervous and it is okay to be nervous 
if you're accepting your nervousness, which in truth, a lot of us who are approaching or who are new to that are not actually learning how to accept that nervousness. We're being reactive to the nervousness or driven by the nervousness versus, yeah, I'm fucking nervous right now and that's okay. And we're gonna show up anyway because the nervousness is actually not gonna slow you down or stop you from saying what you need to say. That's the difference between a nervous that pushes people away and a nervous that actually relaxes people. You're in the store, you've already gotten that part out. She's relaxing towards you. You're talking to her a little bit. You're getting to know her, that, that genuine curiosity, right? Where it's like, cool, hey, I'm sorry, what are you up to? You just kind of shopping right now? Or, you know, something like that that'll really kind of exhibit true curiosity. So maybe it's asking her name, maybe it's asking what she's up to right now. You know, what is she shopping for? You know, is, it, is there an event? Is she just shopping for leisure? How's her day going? more importantly I, I love to ask girls you know hey how's your day going right just right off the bat because it, it puts them at ease it relaxes the conversation and again you've already polarized just by showing up and telling her that you're attracted to her and you thought she's cute so you don't have to necessarily reassert that over and over which a lot of guys just keep nailing it nailing it putting it on where they're just like dropping compliment after compliment the compliment versus actually slowing down and getting to know the girl and not just seeing her as an object but an actual person who has feelings and emotions too so i've had it where times i'll go into a store and i'll approach a girl then we'll start chatting and it's going really well. And maybe she's checking out some clothes and I'm walking around with her through the store because she's enjoying the conversation. She's enjoying being in my presence. She's smiling, she's kind of giggling. I'm flirting, we're walking through the store, we walk out of the store, maybe we walk down the street, grab a coffee. These things could turn into anything, right? It all starts with you showing up and going into the store. Now, the main thing here is that you gotta get over your stories about people are gonna judge us, see us, shame us, make us feel guilty for what we're doing. When truth, people are actually curious, but more so intrigued by what you're doing. Especially the men who are seeing you chase women down. A lot of these guys wish they could actually do what you're doing. And so what you're doing is something that most men wouldn't do. Maybe like the top 1% of men are probably actually showing up doing this, especially the way that you're doing it. So guys are actually in admiration. I've had it where I've approached girls and guys will see me after walking out and they'll just give me some dap, right? They'll shake my hand and be like, dude, that's crazy. That was awesome. She was fucking stunning, right? Or whatever they'll say, they kind of let you know that they admire it, right? So as you're going into these stores, remember, people are an actual admiration of you doing this. And you're doing what a lot of guys wouldn't do. And even for the girl, that you're pushing through a level of tension to get to her. How like sweet is that to a girl that you can actually show up in the midst of all that tension because you thought she was that special that you had to show up for her in that. So remember that stuff when you're going in there, guys. You guys are actually giving more than you're actually causing a disturbance in people's lives. I know you have stories about bothering people, but that's actually not true if you're showing up with the right energy. So again, I hope this video helped you guys. I love chasing girls in the stores, uh, whereas before it was very terrifying. I feel like when you're in stores, you don't have to be as loud when you talk. She can hear you a lot more. It's more personal. So she can feel you a lot more without all the chaos of the outside environment. So I think it actually works to your benefit more to be in a closer setting like a store. Anyways, guys, go out and take advantage of this. Let me know in the comments how this is working for you. I love when guys have stories about going into a store, surmounting their fear and then meeting a woman and getting her number. Like that stuff to me is just like, it makes me smile. Having to a client the other day, she was so nervous. He saw these three girls walking by, three girls together. He saw them earlier and he was like, no, I'm not interested in them. They passed by again. He was like, okay. Yeah, this girl's actually cute. And so they walked into the store and they're all three of them were in there. So we're like, cool, hey man. So go in there and go talk to her. And he was like, ah. And he just slowly started stepping over there and he went into the store and you could see him from outside the store. You can see him walk up to the girl. Her energy just leaned in. She was like, yeah. And he was just like, da, da, da. I don't know what he said, but she lit up. She relaxed in her body. She shook his hand and he kept talking. He was talking to that girl for probably about 10 minutes. Her friends just kind of walked away. They were in the store checking out some other stuff. He was in it for 10 minutes with her, came out. He got her number. We saw him exchanging her number. He came out and he was just so smitten. You can see it on his face. He was so happy. <laughs> he was like, yo, what the F? I've never done that before. And I was like, bro, that's how it works. You just have to step into the tension. And so he was so happy for it. So I want you guys to start having these type of experiences if you're not already having them, all right guys? So anyways guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and also remember guys, only the confident really live.